Well, it's been a while since I did a video for you, but uh, I'm going to do one now, and it's one of the three dullest subjects we could ever talk about when it comes to woodworking. I'm talking about clamping, sanding, and gluing. So let's go through the different stages of clamping and, uh, and uh, different techniques of people, how they use uh, different styles of clamps, uh, how they improvise or this, that, and the other. One of them involves rubber bands. If you've got an odd shaped piece uh, where you can't really get a clamp on it, you can always put these rubber bands on it, pull it up, secure it to the point that you could actually take a spring clamp, maneuver it around and get it together like you want to. Uh, so that's one way to do it. Uh, another way to do it is uh, through some homemade devices of uh, wedges uh, where you actually can press the two pieces together by having a block of wood and sliding the pieces against each other which would press them together over on this side and then of course these are at 45 but you'd have it more of a, an acute angle to be able to get the pressure you want at the point you want. So that's another way. Uh, so you got the, the homemade versions. You got the spring clamps, which is this style. But I want to talk about this one. Uh, if you look at these, if you notice the way that I have to uh, attach it to the uh, to the board, it really takes two hands because if you start screwing that down, all this is going to do is move up because it doesn't have a positive catch over on this side. So these are relatively inexpensive, but if you got two hands free, they work very well. Uh, another F clamp. Would be this quick. Uh, I can get coordinated here. This just slides down. You hold it and lock it like that. That's a quick, uh, quick release. Quick way to put two pieces together. Probably one of the best buys that uh, I've seen in a while was at Home Depot where uh, they had bestie clamps, F clamps, six and 12 inches. You get two sixes, two twelves for 25 bucks. It's a great, great deal. And about two weeks later, I look and they got, uh, got them on for $19. But that is about as excellent a F clamp as you could buy. Uh, it's got a positive catch here, serrations on both ed both edges. It locks with a strong spring. 
Sometimes it takes two hands to move it, or it does me. This is a great, great clamp right here. I'd recommend Bessie all day long. Uh, when it comes to specialty clamps, of course you got the old standby wooden clamps. I use these when I make uh, cheese slicers because I got to drill a vertical hole in the edge of, edge of the board of the piece. I can secure it in here, put this flat on the drill press table and make it parallel to the uh, to the drill bit. So these, uh, these got more uh, uh, uses than just the one to clamp a piece together. So <clears throat> very handy. Then uh, we can talk about we can talk about C clamps. Uh, when I first uh, became active again in woodworking, I bought bought these clamps at Sears, they're aluminum C-clamps, and I don't think you can find them anymore. They work real well, and they're fine threads, so you gotta take your time because you're gonna be screwing a lot. Here's a heavy duty uh, Craftsman that, uh, very good. They measure these, I think, the distance from the, from the, from the screw up to the rigid part of the C, that's the distance. The throat, I think, is like a deep throat, medium throat, shallow throat, uh, like this one. This is made from here to here. I think it's three or four inches uh, real well. This is an antique. I think this belonged to my father-in-law. So, you use these. I want to talk to you about what they call parallel clamps. That's, uh, I guess it gets its name because the top part of the clamp moves at the same rate and distance as the bottom part. These are jet clamps and uh, they work fairly well. Uh, you have to a lot of times jiggle the mechanism to release it if you ever drop one, the problem with jet is you can't get spare parts. So I dropped one one time and this handle broke and it's hollow. I don't know if it's ABS, polycarb, or whatever. <clears throat> so I called the distributor for spare parts. They said, no, we don't have spare parts for them. So they're really not conducive to supporting what they sell. So for that reason, I wouldn't recommend jet. Uh, you can see what I had to do here. I had to get a friend of mine who had a lathe to turn me another handle. Uh, now that's one alternative to fixing something that Jet does because they don't support the product. At least they don't for me. I bought a planer one time. They want me to take it to a service center and it's under warranty. <clears throat> I live in the uh, Memphis area. And the service centers at Paducah, Kentucky. So they want me to take that unit that's under warranty all the way to Paducah to get it fixed. So I said, well, that tells me I'll never buy another jet product. So anyway, these are parallel clamps. And uh, use those when you glue up boards that are, you know, pretty good width or whatever. Uh, then we come down to what I call specialty clamps. Uh, you got the Craig clamps. They lock into this hole, clamp to the board, and then you screw the other screw into it. So let me turn that around so you can see it. This hooks into one hole, clamps to this board, 
Then you screw, took the screw and put it in this hole to secure it to the piece and turn around and then put the screw in this hole. So that's a specialty clamp. Here's another specialty clamp that uh, uh, you'd use with your sacrificial fence on your table saw. And it goes in here to the next clips of the fence like this. Uh, You remember that old saying, you can't have too many clamps? Well, come down, you can't have too many specialty clamps either. Here's one of Craig's clamps that uh, this clamp fits into and then you can adjust this one. So let's suppose you want to secure a piece and you're going to drill it. Uh, secure. And then if you um, decided that you wanted to uh, extend the fence on your table saw or whatever, And you have these clamps. You secure the piece here, and then run it through your table saw. And it gives you more support up here. If we can talk about a band clamp, uh, this one I bought years ago from Earl, and uh, it's got a steel band, and I don't know if you'd prefer that over a flexible fabric band or not, but it's got a positive lock on it. So you can unlock it, and then you can spread out your, your band. And then you can lock it inside the... Uh, the four corners, tighten it up, secure it, tighten it up, and like putting picture frames together or door uh, facings or whatever. These really work good, so that's another specialty clamp you can add to your list. So that's just some of the types of clamps you have, some pros and cons of which brand to buy and this, that, and the other, but when it all comes down to it, as far as parallel clamps, the F clamps, uh, I'd prefer Bessie over all of them.